flux is a finite element uh, general purpose electromagnetic uh, uh, tool. It solves the magnetic field, of course, it solves the electric field and it solves the um, thermal uh, patterns. Uh, with the uh, magnetic field, we've actually added uh, the motion. Through this, we're able to compute uh, any type of power conversion, electromechanical equipment, so it's used for motors, uh, solenoid, any type of device that has actuation. Failures analysis becomes uh, uh, very easy, uh, doing a short circuit in turns, uh, doing uh, broken turns, uh, broken bars, and other type of things like this. It's quite, uh, it's quite a breeze with uh, flux. To complete our uh, offering into a multi-physic uh, environment, we actually enabled a lot of uh, connections. So connection with uh, system simulation tools, uh, connection with other mechanical tools, uh, connection with other CFD tools to uh, try to bring the best solution to the designer. Flux started uh, in uh, the late uh, 70s uh, out of a uh, university project in Grenoble. Uh, through the years, we were the first one to develop uh, coupling between uh, the electromagnetics and the thermal solutions, uh, offering a solution for induction heating industry. Uh, later, we were also the first to bring in the electric circuit connected uh, to the finite element uh, tool, as well as electrical motion. So we've been uh, quite a pioneer in this field, uh, bringing new method and uh, new technology uh, to, to the world. In general, so what we can say is that Flux, we solve any type of problem conversion from the generation of the energy to uh, the use of the converted power at the end and everything along the way, including power lines. We are specialized people in electromagnetics, so we tend to be the best in uh, the electromagnetic low-frequency business. FECO on the other side is on the high frequency and more on the propagation. So, in fact, some people like to say that FECO works on the outside of the device and we work on the inside of the device. So, the worldwide presence of Altair into 20 countries and with now 45 offices through the world, uh, will allow us to bring those tools directly to the people. We're not looking at customer as customer, but more colleagues to whom we actually bring solutions to a problem they're trying to handle.